Martin, how are you? Hello, guys. Good evening. How are you? Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Nubia. How are you? Okay. Sorry to be late. I couldn't turn on my application. Hello, Luis. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. Excellent. Who can tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What information do you remember from yesterday's class? Use the prepositions. Correct. And Prepositions. Uh huh. And participles. No sé cómo se dice participios. Participles. 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 Can you give me an example? Yes. Okay, give me an example. Can you give me an example of the past participle? Uh, who's Who's Haley? She's a girl wearing glasses. Excellent. Who's Haley? She's the girl wearing glasses. Perfect. All right. Now, for this um, first part, what we're going to do is we're going to do a short review regarding the activities from yesterday's class. In yesterday's class, we looked at this section, 5.0. In this section, you will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. So yesterday, we looked at this conversation. Can I have two volunteers? Two volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, excellent. Um, go ahead. You are going to be Jan and Luis is going to be Todd. Okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a just yeah yeah i'd be ready being to one oh well how about a rubber boat tour mm, i'd be ready done that too have you ridden in a streetcar they're a lot of fun actually the how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. All right, excellent. My feet are killing me. Any questions referring to this vocabulary? Do you have any questions related to this vocabulary? Hello, Adriana, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Okay, let me have Carla Alas and Adriana. Carla, you are going to be uh, Jan. Adriana, you are going to be Todd. Okay. Hey, Adriana, there's a television uh, real loud on your end. Um, it's making a lot of disturbance. A lot better. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Action. Action. It's great to see you, Doc. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the series. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I live already been to one. Oh, well, how about a river boat tour? Oh, I live. I really 
done that too. Have you ridden in a street car? Ridden. They are a ridden. Ridden. Mm -hmm. ridden. Have you ridden in a street car? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that show I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take take it easy. My feet are killing me. Awesome. Very good. All right. Does anybody have any questions related to this uh, vocabulary? Teacher is river boat or river boat? River boat. River, river boat. River boat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, for the next activity that we did, was coming from this section right here, present perfect with regular and irregular verbs. We are going to watch this video and review. Study present Please perfect take with note. Already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect, already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Does anybody have any questions at this moment referring to this information? Uh, Hi. I have a question. Yes, please. Eh, estoy viendo la contracción, por ejemplo, en X. It. Ajá. Y esa no es la misma contracción de X is. It is correct. Mm -hmm. It is correct. You can say, es... you say it's, it's, I, T, apostrophe S, it's, is the same as it is. I've is the same as I have. X hell or X ax está viendo que la misma contracción. Repeat please. X as uh, it's as like that? No, no, con has has oh has it has creo, uh -huh. teacher creo que se refiere a que este por ejemplo en he has es la misma construcción con he is. Oh correct. No yes. sé si es yes. a eso se refiere. He's sí. He's can be he has 
He. ¿Cuál era la otra? He is. He is. Uh -huh. He's is the same as he is. Correct. Correct. Se pronuncia, se pronuncia igual. Yes. He's, he's. Pero no significa igual. It's not the same. Completely different. Hay que ver Entonces, el contexto. La... El contexto. Correct. The context with the verb in the past participle. For example, here, you use he has eaten, for example. The verb is in the past participle. Here, he is tall. It's oh. an adjective. Okay, thank you. Yes, Carla? Este, y por ejemplo, si yo digo I live, se, la contracción es igual que I have. Uh, I've lived like that. Uh huh. Or you could say I have lived like that. Es la misma contracción. Correct. I've. Mm. Sure, yo creo que. Cómo, perdón. Yo creo que imagine? ella se refiere a si huh? dice I, I live. Si es, es I también. Eso creo yo que ella estaba. Ah, sí, se puede contraer la palabra live. Eso lo entendí yo, teacher, que si hay live. Oh, no, la, pa acá. la palabra live no se puede contraer, no es lo mismo. La palabra live no se puede usar en contracción, porque mm. es un verbo. Solo have, uh -huh. porque have es auxiliar. Ah, esa era la pregunta, porque entonces yo decía, bueno, si se puede eh, contraer la oración, entonces, ¿cómo sería para identificar eh, cuándo es el lip y cuándo es el hub? En escalón. ¿Usted piensa que se puede usar I've en escalón, como quien dice I live en escalón? Así. Uh, ajá, ajá. Eh, eh, incorrect. Ya. Yeah. No, no se puede contraer la palabra live. Ah, ok. Esa era la pregunta. Gracias. Ok. okay. All right. Now we are going to look at the present perfect. You have to remember that with the present perfect, you are going to use the auxiliary have and the verb in the past participle. Do you have any questions? Okay, let's listen, yo, please. Uh, yo, teacher, in this case, already and yet, uh, what is the deduction? Arrive? No, already. Already. And yet. Ah, okay. Already and yet. Okay. Both words express time expressions. For example, already. I already. S T U D I E D studied English. Positive. I have not studied English. Yet, negative. So when we use the time word already, it goes between the subject and the verb in the simple past. 
but when we use yet, yet goes at the end of the sentence and is used in the negative context. Do you understand? O sea, que ya... Sinceramente ah. es la primera vez que, que escucho esta forma de, de utilizar estas palabras. Ah, ok. Teacher. Teacher. Ok, ajá. Eh, entiendo que como el array es como que ya vea y como el otro es como que todavía vea. Es como que, como está diciendo que todavía no he estudiado inglés, ¿ve? y el otro sí que ya estudié inglés. ¿ve? That's right. That is correct. Already is for the positive or negative yet. O por ejemplo, tú te di le dices, eh, eh, mira, vamos a hacer, vamos a pedir comida. ¿Quieres cenar? Y tú dices, no, gracias. Yo ya cené. You say, no, thank you. No, thank you. I already. Y el verbo va en pasado. Ate. Yo ya cené. Ah, pero que imagínate que no ha cenado. Uh, yes. Please. I have not eaten yet. Negative. Does yet that... solo se va a ocupar en negativo. En negativo. Correct. Correct. Yet is only for negative. Already is only for positive. Los dos significan lo mismo, ¿verdad? Mm. Already con yet. No. It does, it's not the same meaning. It's not the same meaning. Already is for positive, a positive action, and yet is negative action. So it's uh, contrary, opposite. Already... No, en español, yeah. Uh, español, es, son contrarios. Already es positivo, yet es negativo. Negativo. Teacher. Yes. Sería, sería entonces como decir, digamos, es en español, ¿verdad? si ya comí, que sería I already ate. Uh -huh. Y el otro sería como, no, todavía no he comido, que sería lo de I have not eaten yet. Correct. That is correct. Ah, ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. El yet siempre se va a utilizar con I have. O sea, con, con have. Yes. Porque tú dices no he. Ok. No he terminado aún. I have not finished yet. Y, y siempre no iré he... al final. Correct. Al final. Another question? Okay, let's finish watching the video. Listen, please. Present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. 
when are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples. Has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. <coughs> Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Okay, so for this activity, what I would like for you to do is I want you to give me five sentences in the discussion forum using yet and already. Five sentences using yet and already. Any questions? No, teacher. Excellent. If you have a question, please raise your hand and I will help you. Ready? Let's go. I don't Igual know. estamos, yo sí me había salido y volví a entrar, pero creo que lo que entendí fue el foro de la lección 5.3 usando el jet and already. El jet and already, vamos a ver. Te comparto la pantalla. Ah, para que veamos los mejor, ejemplos. Así que... Mejor, bien, solo. Uh -huh. Está bien, bien. Somos tres. White sand is using jet already. Ajá, perfect. Already and yet. Entonces, me imagino que tenemos que hacer algunas oraciones usando eso, ¿verdad? Cinco. Cinco. Five sentences. Uh -huh. Entonces, este. Mm, quiero ver. Oh, I do. No, no, have you not? No, have you not? You have not, not there. Eh, ah, oración, pero no me ocurre alguna, quiero ver. I already, I already uh, arrived to the home. Sí. Ya llegué a, ya llegué a casa. I already arrived to the home. I have. O sea, I already, o sea, already, como estamos oh, ocupando yeah. already, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pone I already eh, arrived. Arrived. Uh -huh. Arrive. Ah, es, have ah, arrived, entonces, pero como es con el have. Así cabal. Ah, con el have también. Sí, porque es para. Es como yo estaba, ah, pero es como yo vi que estaba explicando la del jet y la de already, va. Aquí está, ve, yes, they have already eaten. Mm, eh, entonces uh -huh. ellos entonces, no han llegado todos. Espérate, ¿qué, qué, qué, qué dice la, qué dice la, 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 qué dice ahí el, el, el. Answer. En la, en la, en la, si lo puedes poner, la, ahí eso, déjalo ahí, gracias. Dice, how they, yeah, how they eaten dinner yet? Ellos, 
Ah, ok. Entonces, uh -huh. ellos, puedes poner, eh, how do you, una pregunta. How do you, espérate. How The verb is in participle. Arrive, tendría que hacer, ah, no me acuerdo cuál es de arrive. How do you, how do you arrive to your work eh, already? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Grab what the How do you how do you arrive? Ah, porque arrive, ajá, quiero ver. Presente perfecto, arrive. How do you arrive at, eh, to your work? Ya llegaste a Ah, pero already, después already. How do you arrive to your work already? Estamos en present perfect. perfecto. Ah, pero estoy diciendo do you, entonces ese es simple present. Si <risa> sí, yo la pregunto, have they o have you? No, es have. Uh -huh. No, have. entonces dije yo have you, have you. Ah, how. Oh, how, no, es how. <risa> how do you arrive? Have you? Espérate, espérate, espérate. No, eh, así mira. Haven't, haven't you, haven't you arrived to your work yet? Ahí está, haven't, o haven't. O sea, well, con questions in negative. Ajá, correcto. Haven't you, haven't you arrived to your work yet? ¿No has llegado al trabajo todavía? Haven't, okay. o sea, haven't, ajá. The contraction, the haven't, I don't know. Eh, haven't, la, la N. Uh, te falta, ahí va la N. Eh, ajá, ahí have, have la, después de have va la N. La, mm -hmm. el, la, el apóstrofe y la T. Ok, haven't. Mm -hmm. Arrive. Have you arrived? Eh, arrive. Es como, como un pre, presente perfecto, es arrived. La, te la D. Mm. D. Ajá. Es que esos verbos en que terminan en, en, en E, el participio son ED, 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 todos son el pasado es ED y el presente perfecto. Haven't you arrived to your work yet? To your work yet? Entonces, ahí, ahí, ahí estaba. Haven't you arrived to your work yet? No has llegado a tu trabajo todavía. Eh, no, yet no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, yet, no, no, I have mm. no, I have, no, I have, no, I have not yet. No, I, uh -huh. Quiero ver cómo está la, la respuesta. Ya no me acuerdo de este. Uh -huh. Espérate, I have. No, I haven't I, uh, arrived yet. Uh -huh. No, pues I haven't arrived yet. yet. <risa> qué bárbaro. Sumamente perdido. Estamos perdidos casi, qué bárbaro. I haven't arrived. Dudo con arrive. Arrive. Arrive es como llegar a un lugar. Ajá, pero participio era. Digamos. Y solo oraciones no podemos poner. Tiene que estar con preguntas. No, tiene que puede ser oraciones, puede ser decir. Pasado. Digamos, or well, they have or well, the ear. Aún, es que aún significa jet, ¿verdad? Or really. Bueno, mira. Dice, mira. Porque okay, bueno, podemos poner she, she has eh, already already y no sé qué otro verbo. Vaya, mira, te voy a no, no creo que pueda compartir pantalla yo. Vaya, te, te lo voy a... Ah, pues sí puedo. Mira, ya vas a ver. Ah, no, no puedo porque vos estás compartiendo. Dale. Vaya, mira, mira, ya vas a ver. Pantalla. Para que se regrese la duda. Bueno. Mira qué dice ahí. ¿Sí? Ah, arrive. Oh, they arrive. <risa> a ver. Ya ves. Ah, ok. Ves. 
Qué okay. bárbara. Entonces, este... Vaya, ¿qué otra oración estabas haciendo? She has already... Ajá, una oración. She has already... ¿Y qué no quieres sé. decir? No sé. Es el... <risa> 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 ¿Y qué el uso? Vamos a poner aquí, googleémoslo. Mm, te voy a... Él dijo una oración. Ajá, y porque yo, yo me, me, me salí. Ya he llegado. Pero solo están en questions. Ahí está. Ah, solo questions son. No, no son. No, no, no. no. Son... Ahí está. Bien. I have already seen the film. Como que ahorita, vea, yo he estado seeing the film. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. Uh -huh. I am... Ajá, por puedes ejemplo, ponerle... por ejemplo, already... como... ahí dice, uh -huh. I've already seen that film. Dice. Uh -huh. vale. Entonces aquí pongamos, she has already But... dance. Dance. Pero necesariamente va a tener que ir la pregunta. No, 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 por eso. Ahí estaban las oraciones. ¿ve? Él dijo cinco oraciones. Aquí tenemos ejemplos. No es necesario que esté la pregunta. ¿ve? Bueno, entonces, vaya, por ejemplo, esta que dice, I already seen, ya he visto esa película, dice. Uh -huh. ¿Ves? Entonces, es, I already, I already Dance. pone eso. Ah, sí, ya lo estás poniendo. Ok. okay. <risa> yeah, Dance. The music, no sé. She has already then, espérate, she has, ajá, uh -huh, she, she, um, espérate, I already, y ya te fijaste de que el already creo que va después del sujeto, pero, o sea, después del, del, mira cómo va. After half the, ¿Está bien? Number. Está bien. Está bien, al menos eso leí bien. Vale. She has already. Uh -huh. Ya van tres, va, con la respuesta. Sí, va. Sí, no Lo consideramos así. Va, entonces pone la otra. Eh, They have, eh, we have. Espérate. Have, have you seen. No, have not. Eh, have not. No, espérate, have you seen. Eh, alguna espérate, algo. The movie. Ajá, pero ajá, pero have you been have you have you seen the movie Godzilla. <risa> ah, vaya, eso pone. Entonces, y entonces vol volver a responder. Eh, I've, no, I I have, have an object. I've ajá. Ajá, correcto, pero ajá, did not. No. Espérate, ajá. no, andate no. al ejemplo que tenías en el internet. Ah. Ok, ok, ok. Um, I have already seen the film. Espérate que veo blanco. No veo nada. Entonces. Ay, bye. No veo. Creo que cerré la. Ay. Sí. Mm. Lo cerré por error. <risa> Qué bruta. Hasta la plataforma se me erró. Vamos a poner acá. Historia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers, please. Me, teacher? Nubia. Give me your examples, please. I already ate in my house. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not ate yet. I have not eaten dinner. Ah, uh, dinner. Dinner. Yet. Uh, sería de agregarle dinner. 
No, I have not. Eaten, I have not eaten mm, yeah, dinner yeah. yet. Okay. Tiene que ser el past participle. El verbo en past participle. Okay. Okay. All right, let's continue, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to go ahead and move forward. If you're not finished, that's your homework. For the next activity, we're going to be looking at section 5.4, knowledge check, instructions. Complete these conversations. Use the present perfect. Use the verbs in brackets. Instrucciones. Complete las conversaciones. Use el presente perfecto. Use los verbos que están dentro de las paréntesis. Number one. Mm, you. Mm, much exercise this week. What do you think is the correct answer? Have you? Okay. Have, have you, you done? Have you done? Correct. Have much, you done much, much exercise, exercise this week? This week is correct. What is the response? What is the response? Have done. Yes. In my in my personal case, yes. I have. I have. That's right. Because every day I push heavy. Yes, I have. What is the negative response? No. No, I haven't. Excellent. No, I haven't. No, I haven't is correct. All right. So I would like for you to finish this activity in pairs. I would like for you to finish this activity in pairs. Any questions? No. Any questions? No. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to change partners right now. We're going to change partners. Are you ready? Are you ready? Awesome. Ahorita estoy viendo, permítame. Quiero ver. En la 5.4 dice. Sí. No sí, ya las tengo respondido. Mm. Usted igual. Ah, no, las tengo que hacer. ¿Ok? Yo estoy haciendo el ayudo. Ah, vaya. ¿Se ha cambiado el litoral? No. Se cruzó toda la semana. Se cruzó toda la semana. Se Okay. Okay. Vale, la primera es eh, Have you done much exercise this week? Entonces ¿verdad? acá sería La segunda sería Yes um, ¿Todo? 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 
Have been. Sí, verdad. Yes, has been. Has been. Has been. Have has been. Have been. Es la tercera, verdad? Yes. Have been. Ajá. Dice la tercera es. No me gusta. Es have played. Exacto. Uh -huh. Y la cuarta es. Tal vez dile a un lugar. No, I haven't had. Sí. Uh -huh. Sí. Y la cinco, how many, how many movies? How many movies have you seen? Sí. No it says actually I I haven't seen. Okay. Sí. La siete, I mm -hmm. have you. Digámosle ahí al. Have you been? Mm -hmm. no, Ocho. Mm -hmm. No, I no, no I haven't gone. Okay. Exactly. No es B, A, A ver, sería have, have go. En la primera. Buenas noches. Ajá, have go. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hola. Y la 10. Sería, ah, estamos, pues. yes, I. Hay el número. Creo que era. Ay, ah, la primera, uh -huh. have made. Exacto. Diga. No, no está tan, está tan bueno, me salió una mala, creo. Sí. ¿Cuál es el ah, lugar? Este, en la en cuatro. Está ahorita está? O sea, el número cuatro. Vale, ingresó ya en la... En la um, en el, en el sería... Primera, la tercera, ¿verdad? Had, had. had. Exacto. La tercera, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ahí está. Vaya, vaya. Sí, cabal, ahí está. Ahí me vi. Uh -huh. Vaya, si gusta, lo repasamos un rato. Ok. Sí, claro. Vale, lo voy a decir la primera. Uh -huh. um, have you done uh -huh. much exercise this week? Vale, sí. ahí ya le puso los lo gastos. Uh -huh. La otra sería. Ah, vale, ahí de la siguiente. Yes, I have. Y ahí aparece como. Pincho, aeróbico. Están la como cuatro. unas tres casillas, creo que son. O sea, no son casillas, sino que son un, un texto que dice ahí. Que el... Se equivocaron aquí en la ortografía de clase. ¿De plus? Está mala. Ajá, sí. Estoy bien. Ajá, sí. Ajá, está mal. Es clase. Y, ajá. Y en, en, el, en el tercero Bye. tiene que darle. Como hay, creo que hay tres. La tercera, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Es, have you played any sport this month? This month. Ajá, creo que es la primera. De ahí This está sombreado. De ahí le da do, están dos más abajo. Que... Uh -huh. yeah. No, I haven't. I Ajá, haven't. Estaba en el tercero, en el tercero. Creo que... uh -huh. How many movies Ajá. Ajá, have este you poco. seen this, A veces ya lo this tira, month? Uh -huh. Ajá. Actually, Pero... I haven't seen any. Ajá, se le va a decir ahí que lo puede comparar y no modificarlo. Sería, Ajá. have you been to any in interesting parties recently? No sé cómo se pronuncia, recently. Sí, recently. Luego sería, no, I haven't gone to no, any parties for this. Uh, ¿Cuál es? Mm, Creo que sí. Es. Yeah. No, <laughs> Aunque ya está fallando. Have you called no dejaba, any friends claro. today? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. La siguiente sería. Uh, yes. Ahí. I beat me a ring. Sí, ahorita le, le, le está calculando allí. Make cut. Ok. Claro que solo eso estaría. Uh -huh. Esperamos. Bueno. Esperemos a ver. Ajá. 
o seguimos practicando. Espérenme, vaya. Ajá, acaba. Si gusta, diga la primera usted. ¿Mm? Uh -huh. Si gusta, empiece ahora lo, lo usted. Del, lo del seguro, lo, lo del list. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Acaba. Sí, so allí sí, ni modo. Yes, okay. I have already, already sí, in, sí, ya está, been ¿qué to cosa? aerobic ah. class for time. Está bueno, ahí no se puede. Sí, vaya. Sería, ¿Qué cosa ahí me dice? Have to play no, any sport this month. Um, no, I no, haven't no, had no. the time. No sabía, ni no. Parece que le, le lleva a la... Igual que nosotros, ¿eh? Had to see. Yo no sé dónde iba ese. El pago cuenta. Pay, ¿verdad? Sí. No, eso dije yo. Ah, eso es la que dijo. Sí, la compañera ahí en Roselio. Actually, I haven't. Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Ok. Have you been to any interesting. Ya se lo dije, man. Bye. Ay, contento, les voy a poder acabar. No, I haven't gone. Le había dicho que vamos a ir. Parties for quite a while. No, pero. No, pero es que ellos lo van a llevar. Porque. Ahí solo me estoy preguntando en medio. Ahí, yo, paja, le estaba dando, les voy a. Eh. Have you called any person? No, es que me dijo de que en el seguro, ¿no? Que dice que. ¿En la veces? Yes, I have already made recalls. Pero dice que lo contaste por el proyecto. Ok. Ok. Pues sí. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Creo que más o menos ya estamos. ¿Cómo puede ser para solo meterlos por proyectos y después sacarlo? Más que estoy comiendo. No, igual estoy cenando. Pero... Ya, cuando lleguen, te lo... El de la baja. Así toca, ni más. Cuando lo ingresan, no te lo crees. Como ahí se pueden crearlo.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Are you ready to check? Let me have the first volunteer. Number two, the first volunteer. Me. All right, number two, please. Yes, I have already been to aerobics class for time. Perfect. Yes, I have been already to aerobics class four times. Perfect. Select somebody. Vladimir. Vladimir, number three. El uh, number three is um, ahorita. Have you played any sport this month? Have you played any sports this month? Very good. Number four, select somebody. Vladimir, select mm. somebody. Well, mm -hmm. Adriana. 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 Sería la cuatro. That is correct. Sería, uh, no, I haven't had the time. No, I haven't had the time. Correct. If... <laughs> 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 yeah. Number five, select somebody, Adriana. Luis. Luis, number five. Okay. How many movies have you seen this month? Perfect. How many movies have you seen this month? Excellent. Number six, select somebody. Select somebody. Select somebody. Uh, Dina. Dina. Okay. Dina, number six. Actually, uh, actually, I haven't uh, seen any yet. Correct. Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Perfect. Any. Select somebody. Um, Raquel. Raquel, number seven. Have you been to any interesting parties recently? Have you been to any interesting parties recently? Correct. Number eight. Number eight. Select somebody. All right. Select somebody, Luis. Que no había seleccionado Go ahead, Luis. Seleccione usted. Okay. Dina. Dina. Oh, Fabiola. Fabiola. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Number eight, please. It is, is not. Que ver. Aquí la tengo. It is haven't gone. Excellent. Haven't gone. Perfect. Select somebody, Dina, number nine. No, I haven't go to any party for. Case Very good. No, I haven't gone to any parties for quite a while. Number nine. Ailey. Ailey, number nine. Any friends today? Excellent. 
have you called any friends today? Select somebody. <laughs> All right, um, number 10, somebody. Carla. Excellent, Carla, alas. Yes, I have already made three calls. Perfect, excellent, excellent, very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to stop right here. Please continue working on the platform, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.